said pasta before, but it's been given a little bit of Markinism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking just, forward to this oh, no. <laughs> I've just made that word up. Uh, but explain a bit more for us. What are you going to do? Uh, so really, really simple recipe. We've got pasta. We'll make mushroom pasta. We're going to keep it all vegetarian today. We've got lots and lots of garlic in there, and we've mm. got a side helping of garlic bread, cheese, a little bit of rocket through it. It's just mm. it is so easy, so tasty. The whole family will love it. What sort of cheese is it? Pecorino. Wow, mm. nice. And yeah, that's the Markinism. That's the Markinism. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. And a glass of wine, that's the mechanism. Okay, <laughs> looking forward to getting this underway very soon. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, this is a family favourite, one of my favourites, pasta. What are you going to do to it? Right, so really simple, lots of garlic, lots of mushrooms. That's about it, really. Bit nice. of wine. Nice. Well, there really simple, and this is a great one for the kids as well. You know, they can do this. It's okay, really, it's great. really good. Right, so mushrooms first. Yes. So... Really simple recipe, but mm -hmm. there's a few uh, key fundamental things what you want to get right to make it taste really good. Okay, well that's good, that's why you're here. Exactly. Right, so what we want to do is we need to get colour on the mushrooms. Okay. If you just boil the mushrooms, you're, not, you're just going to taste like cardboard, they're not going to get any colour. Okay. So we roast these mushrooms in a pan. Nice. We're going to start getting lots of colour on there. And then we're going to put the garlic in, and then they're going to be flavoured of mm. garlic. And then ultimately the pasta as well. Right, so I'm going to keep the mushrooms nice and chunky. Right, you cut them in quarters, really. Yeah, yeah so just yep. in quarters. If they're, if they're a little bit bigger, you know, do them into six or eights. Okay. Um, but just, just nice and chunky. So I'm going to get like that. We've got a nice big pan there. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting it nice and warm. So you can pop a bit of oil into there now. Okay. And with the mushrooms, you can use whatever mushrooms you want. Can't, can't yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, whatever's whatever's available. So you know, you can use a mixture as well if you want. Great. You know, or uh, we just got some butter mushrooms here. Okay. So once the oil's nice and hot, we're going to pop the mushrooms in. Yes. And we're going to roast them. Okay. okay. So you want to get a really nice colour, high heat. It wants to be sizzling, so we get that colour, and then any liquid from the mushrooms sort of going to burn off, and we're going to left with these nice sort of chunky mushrooms. Okay. And, great. and then the other thing is, we don't want to overcook them either. Okay. Right, so here, so I've got some uh, boiling salted water. Yep. A few pasta shells in there. You know, you can use any pasta you want. You know, it's quite nice to have shells, so break it up so you're not always having spaghetti. And then you've got these nice chunks of mushrooms and nice bits of pasta as well, so you can sort Brilliant. of like shovel it down with a spoon, you know. Nice. I love pasta. <laughs> I love mushroom pasta. So what's your favourite pasta? Favorite. Um, mm, that's a really good question. <laughs> it's probably fettuccine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I think. And I think the key, the key to a pasta dish is, you know, it's just keeping it simple. Okay. You know, keeping it simple, having some nice flavours there, and, and something you can knock up really fast, you know? Okay. Right. Right, you pass me that wooden spoon, I'll keep an eye on okay, these. Okay, right, you keep Thank an you. eye on those. Right, there's some salt and pepper there. So as you roast okay. them, give them a really good season. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do now is we've got some garlic. So it's quite a lot of garlic in this recipe because we are going to make some garlic bread as well. So I've just peeled the garlic. I'm going to take the core off. And then we're going to finally chop it. Okay. Mm. Okay. So the best way to do that, get your knife, yep. squash it. And then we're really going to work it almost into a paste. So by squashing it, it's sort of you're halfway there. And then a really sharp knife. And you want to go back and forth, back and forth. And you can see all the oils are coming out of there now. And then we're actually going to crush it. And I'm going to get a little bit finer, and then I'm just going to season it. Well, I'm going to put some salt on there, and that's going to help us squash it down into a paste. Oh, nice. You know, it's so some nice coarse salt. And then what you're doing is just really crushing it. You're always crushing it, mate, in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> always. It get worse every week. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to chop all the garlic together, but then I'm going to put half in with the mushrooms to flavour the mushrooms, and then we use half of the uh, garlic bread. So we're going to make a garlic butter. So this is great. So you can make this in a big batch if you want. And, it, you know, it keeps keeps well in the fridge. And you can put garlic butter on every, anything, you know. You OK, because I was worried before that squeezing all the oils out of it is going to remove all the flavour. Is that... Oh, no, true? no, no, no. no. It's, um, you know, you, you're releasing all the flavours right. like okay, into so it, you know, you're not, it. yeah, it's, it's not going to go down in flavour. So you can make it in advance if you like. And yeah, yeah, no, this is great. You, okay, can, you can do this in advance. Nice. I think these mushrooms are looking pretty good. Are you going to put the garlic in there too? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the garlic might. in there in a minute. That's all right. You might be out of a job soon, Mark. I've just got this under control. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So you can see how the mushrooms are still quite chunky. Yes. You, like, you want them still chunky, though. You don't want to reduce them down. No, no, you want them still chunky, but because you've got nice high heat in there and you're getting the colour on there and it's sort of evaporating some of the juice, mm. you know, on contact because it's so hot, 
you know, they stay nice and plump. Right. You know, if it wasn't hot, they'd just boil and all the water would come out and then just <laughs> boil and they'd just go to just sort of soggy cardboard. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do now a little bit of butter in there. So you're going yep. to keep, keep roasting that. And then I'm going to put the garlic in as well. So keep Ooh, keep sort of stir frying, okay. keep it on the go. Yep. You know, just to flavour it all. We can turn down the temperature at this point now because we've got colour on the mushrooms. Okay, great. Well, this is going along swimmingly. I tell you what, it smells <laughs> incredible. So I tell you what we'll do. We'll come back here in just a minute, and we'll see in the Beko kitchen how we get the next steps to making this mushroom pasta and the garlic bread, of course, which is very important. That is straight after we catch up with Holly. It is time to get going with our mushroom pasta and our garlic bread. So these mushrooms and garlic and butter smelling incredible over here. Yeah. The good so thing is you don't want to burn the garlic, do you? So I guess you don't want to burn all the oils out. It helps with that. Well, I mean, we've got a little bit of colour on there. It's quite nice, though. It sort of brings that extra mm. colour in. But there's so much garlic in there. It, you know, this is a garlic mushroom. Got good colour on the mushrooms. Yep. You can see the butter's bubbling, but we've not burnt the butter because we've turned that pan down a little bit. Going to deglaze that with some white wine. Okay. You know, it's still nice and hot. It comes up to the boil. We've taken all the alcohol off, but you're just left with that great flavour. Our pasta's cooking here. Mm. All we need to do now is just got some soft butter. Yep. So. You know, take it out of the um, out of the fridge, sort of like half an hour before you need to use it. Chop it up in a bowl, or just sort of, you know, give it ten seconds in the microwave or so to soften. Pop all your garlic in there. Give it a good mix around. You know, give it a good season as well. Nice bit of pepper, some salt. Yum. And I just like to put a little bit of lemon juice in, or a little bit of acidity. You know, put a splash okay. of vinegar in if you want as well. I never thought of that. Just sort of cuts all that richness in there and just really lifts that flavour. You know, you can leave it as like like that if you want. You can yep. add herbs in there. You can put anything you want in there. You know, be creative. Nice. It's all. It's, it's the important part of the garlic bread, isn't it? It's the butter. garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Use the butter as your canvas for flavour. Ah, oh, the canvas for flavour. Mm. We're getting very poetic, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so nice French stick. Yes. So really easy, you know, just do some uh, slices in there. Just go like sort of three quarters of the way through. And then, you know, nice. we're just going to pop our butter inside. We don't need the end, but. <laughs> pop your butter inside, you know. Just go like that, keep going all the way around. Okay. All we're going to do now is just going to wrap it in foil and just put it in a nice hot oven for about sort of 10, 15 minutes. So that's really easy. That's pretty easy. Right, now you can finish the pasta. Okay. So we've got some pecorino cheese here. Yes. So I want you to grate some pecorino cheese into the uh, mushrooms, mushrooms and the wine. Yeah. Okay. Why do we use this particular cheese? Well, I mean, you can use Parmesan cheese if you want. You know, it's a nice hard cheese, full of flavour. Um, pecorino's quite nice. It's something a little bit different as well. How much do we want? Uh, keep going. Okay. There's not Great. many ingredients in here, Mike, so you want to make the most of yep, every no, ingredient. Fair enough. <laughs> this is a good little grater, actually. Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah, so that's quite good. So just, just sort of stir that around, and the cheese will sort of melt into it, and it'll start thickening that sauce. So that's going to go in the oven. Oh. You know, I've got some parsley here, which is going to chop up. Yum. That's going to go in. And then what we're going to do... You know, you can see you can see that wine and butter's just in there. You know, that's, there's so much flavour in that. <laughs> this what, is fantastic. What we're going to do now it. is got our pasta, drain it off. Yep. That's probably enough. Getting a bit carried away here, I think. You don't have too much cheese, though, can you? Well, exactly. You can never have too much cheese. It's Italian cookery. So pasta goes in there. Yep. And then a little bit of this cooking liquid as well. Just want to. Just pour a splash in there, okay. you know, and then all that butter and all those flavours and garlic is just going to mix together. Uh, the butter's going to sort of emulsify with the water, thicken mm. it, giving you this nice coating. You've got your cheese in there, and that is it. That's how fast it is. Pop it out right. onto a bowl. Little squeeze of lemon mm. just to cut through that butter, and uh, more cheese on top. Fantastic. Absolutely Easy. beautiful. <laughs> Smells incredible. Can't wait to get it in my mouth soon. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. I just finished the pasta with a little bit of rocket. A little bit more pecorino on oh, top. Yeah. Serves your garlic bread on the side. Oh. oh, look at that. Come on, bring it over. <laughs> <laughs> I need to cover that. Oh, there you go. Thank you.